we usually hear about ozone hole formation above the polar regions especially over the antarctic and sometimes over arctic regions during spring season and what does this ozone hole means is this actually a hole formed in the ozone layer how we know that there is a hole formation there is a measurement for measuring ozone so this ozone hole essentially means thinning of the ozone layer it is we have standard thickness that ozone should be there in the stratosphere when the thickness goes below a particular level we will tell that ozone has hole has formed and normally it is measured in dobson unit so normal thickness is 300 dobson unit when the thickness goes below 220 dobson unit it is less than 220 dobson unit we will tell that there is an ozone hole and what is this dobson unit dobson unit measures the thickness of the ozone it measures thickness by using by calculating the number of ozone molecules above a particular surface say we have taken a square meter here on the ground surface and the number of ozone molecules in the air column above it is measured this number of molecules so one dobson means 2 2.687 into 10 raised to 20 molecules per meter square at a standard temperature and pressure so this is the unit and we saw that usually it is 300 dobson unit that means if you are taking the whole ozone molecules above this column and arranging it in a layer so it is only ozone molecules here and how much thickness will it come it will come around 3 millicentimeter thickness that is 3 micrometer sorry it will come around <coughs> 3 millimeter thickness have you understood the concept we are taking the whole ozone molecules above the particular surface area in the entire atmosphere and we are arranging it in a pure ozone layer it is pure ozone layer and assuming that how much thickness it will come if you are compressing it to a pure layer and the thickness of this layer is measured and 300 dobson unit means 3 mm thickness of ozone layer and how we know that it is 3 mm thickness when we are arranging this molecules it will come around 0 0.01 millimeter that is 100 micrometer or otherwise it is 1 millicentimeter so if you are con uh, converting 300 dobson unit 300 into 0 0.1 millimeter gives 3 millimeter thickness 3 millimeter thickness of ozone layer and how we can measure the thickness we will use spectrometers photometers spectro photometers it is uh, working using light uh, light property reflection or uh, other refraction property of light to measure the ozone thickness and this instrument is called Dobson ozone spectrophotometer otherwise we can measure using satellites satellites we use a total ozone spectrometer satellites use this instrument to measure the ozone thickness and we saw that this ozone hole phenomena occurs around the pole polar regions arctic and antarctic you know that the ozone depleting substance are present throughout the atmosphere we particularly this ozone hole phenomena happens only in the polar regions there the atmospheric phenomena play a role
we have poles here and in poles we have a polar storm or polar vortex. This is a circulating winds and it is very strong during the winter season. And it is more strong in south, south pole than in north pole. That's why in south pole ozone hole phenomena is more frequent than in north pole. And this polar vortex, this strong circulating winds will partition the wind in this region, uh, atmosphere in this region and atmosphere outside. That means the air inside this region will become colder and colder. So it prevents the mixing of air from other parts of the atmosphere so that air in the polar regions will become very cold and about minus 78 degrees Celsius it will reach. When it reaches up to minus 78 degrees Celsius a particular type of clouds it is not exactly the cloud but it looks like cloud they are called polar stratospheric clouds from name itself it is clear that it is formed in polar region and it is formed in the stratosphere and this polar stratospheric cloud or PSCs and they are formed of tiny crystals of ice nitric acid like that compounds will crystallize and form this clouds and this cloud will have a shining appearance it will called pearl, pearl clouds also and these clouds will preserve certain chemicals like hydrogen chloride and chlorine nitrates which we saw before they are the reservoirs of chlorine so naturally chlorine will occur in this form in unreactive form once chlorine is released from this compounds it will be very reactive and causes ozone damage so this ice crystals will give surface for these compounds to reside and the chemical reaction will happen and chlorine will be released from these compounds so during winter season there will be a storehouse of chlorine in this polar region and it will remain like that throughout the winter and in spring season the sunlight starts coming to the polar region you know that polar regions have long winters and long summers almost six months winter and six months summer so spring season sun rays start coming and this chlorine you know we have seen before chlorine will photochemically react with the sun rays to release the chlorine radicals and this chlorine radicals will react with ozone and deplete it right so this chlorine concentration here is very high so that ozone depletion will take place very fast thus the ozone hole is formed that is the concentration of ozone will be very less and the formation of ozone process will be very low compared to the uh, depletion process and hole will form this happens in spring season and it happens until summer during summer sunlight will come and this stratospheric clouds will disperse so that the ozone will also started getting reverse uh, like in normal position will get a reverse back and ozone will start forming more and it will get patched up during the summer season so this phenomena our satellite is observed and it become a major global issue we become aware of the ozone depleting substances causing ozone hole and from there efforts started to reduce the ozone depletion and depleting substances and we came to the global protocols like montreal protocol and vienna convention to protect our ozone layer for engineering services general studies video lectures visit www.ilsgeneralstudies.com for mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answer discussion visit www.gatnet.com